Hi guys, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Uh, today I'm going to take apart this SkyQ digital satellite box. Uh, now, I've taken apart before, you maybe have maybe seen a video before, that I've taken apart a Sky Plus box, and that Sky Plus box was actually metal carcass. This one seems to be completely plastic, but this is the updated version, so the Sky boxes have evolved over the years. Uh, from a simple Sky Box to Sky Plus to Sky HD Plus to Sky Q. Sky Q is kind of one of the latest versions of the box. So, uh, as you can see, they've cut down on the metal, they're utilizing plastic, which isn't great. Uh, obviously, metal is better for me for recycling. But it's smaller, it's more compact. Uh, and, you know, in terms of what it does, it has a lot more features than a, a Sky Plus box would have, a Sky HD box. Uh, pretty easy to take these things apart as I say they're just plastic so there's not a lot of in screws involved in taking apart actually there's one little screw hole here uh, and that has a specific type of screw in it uh, that you need a, a specialised bit to take it off it's a little kind of hexagon inside the screw and it's got a little bit of metal in the middle of it uh, so you do need a specific bit to take that off uh, but I've got a great little kind of mini screwdriver set uh, that has all the bits for taking apart things like game controllers, mobile phones, laptops, all that kind of stuff. So I've got just about every bit possible. Uh, and I would recommend that if you're doing micro scrapping, scrapping you do uh, buy and purchase a good little uh, small screwdriver set to make sure you can take everything apart. Apart from that, on the back... You can see the connectors here uh, that link it up and on them you do get a couple of nuts so there's a little little nut and a little washer that goes on there and you just need to take them off to make sure you can pull everything off and that really is all that I can see at first glance that connects the board uh, connects the, the thing together so there's a couple of little clips here that I pull back and that immediately gets us into the hard drive so all sky boxes have got a hard drive this one I think it'd be one terabyte let me just have a quick look yeah one terabyte I don't know if you can see that there it's a one terabyte hard drive uh, as I say, the old Sky Plus, Sky HD boxes are usually around 500 gigabytes, so one terabyte box. Uh, can't easily just pull that out, but we'll see what else we can just kind of pull out. So there's a little digital card on the side. Push that in and that should release it. And as you can see, the little kind of SIM bit on the end there, that is gold plated. A very similar to SIM cards you get in your phone. That little gold plated strip there. So you can keep them again. Put that in your gold recovery items. So there's our first little bit of gold from the Sky Q box. So let's see how we can pull apart here. Should be fairly straightforward. Pull apart. So there's a the first panel off. That's just the base really. And what that does is it actually reveals some areas where it's screwed on. Okay, so we've got some little screws there. So I will uh, unscrew these. Okay, as if by magic, four screws are out. We'll try and uh, separate the two halves of this now. Not sure how easy that's going to be. But uh, the one way to find out is to try see if we can pop it off. There we go. Let's use the screwdriver in there as a wedge. Pop off that top piece. Top piece is still holding the hard drive. Uh, let's see if we can pop that out. Oh. 
interested. Doesn't seem to be any really easy way to pop that out. So let's try and wedge it. There we go. And there's our one terabyte Western Digital hard drive. Okay. Obviously with these hard drives, this is your high value item here. Okay, usually quite a bit of gold content in here. But your hard drive itself is made of aluminium. Obviously inside you'll get the platter, uh, which has a small coating of platinum. Uh, but there is gold inside these as well, a little, little bit of gold. Uh, and some more aluminium as well. So I'll do a video at some point about taking apart hard drives but uh, for, for the moment we'll just set it over one side and then we can ditch the bottom piece these are with the board so in terms of the board let's see how it's screwed in doesn't look like it's screwed in too many areas it looks as far as I can see there's probably just the one screw which is here can't actually see any other screws so we will uh, take that screw off and see if we can take the board off of the plastic uh, plastic piece plastic base it's actually the top actually I think it is rather than the base okay so it looks like just need to pull it a little bit and then release it okay so that's the out uh, Nothing else in there, so just a nice clean bit of plastic. And then we come to our board. So as you can see, here's our board. We've got a couple of coolers sitting on top of chips. Both of these are made of aluminium. In fact, we've got a third one here as well. So we've got, we've got three. One, two, three. Uh, all sitting on top of chips. Uh, so we'll pull them off and we'll see what the quality of the chips are like we've got a little transformer here which will contain copper we've got a little copper reel here and these two little silo looking stacks they'll have copper inside them as well it's just uh, this is ferrite and underneath them there'll be a little coil of copper as well so we can take them off as well there are some other little small copper components these little components here there's also a little tiny copper reel inside them. Uh, again, you know, take them off, crunch the ferrite off of it, and there will be a little copper reel uh, underneath it. So, uh, all adds to your copper pile. Other than that, what I can't see is what I was really looking for, which was a nice set of gold pins. So there doesn't seem to be any gold pins on this board, other than possibly within the kind of LAN connection which is here there'll be some gold pins in here and possibly in the HDMI connection or the USB connection we'll have some gold plated pins in there as well but let's take off these little coolers uh, and see what the chips are like underneath there okay so these should just be clipped on shouldn't be too difficult to release so we got this first one off okay a little piece of aluminium there second one should be pretty much the same deal in terms of pulling it off so just pull one pin to one side and there's your second piece of aluminium and then we've got one left here and again 
just take the little pin that's securing it, take that off, and that leaves the aluminium cooler. Give that a little wedge, and then that comes off. So this one's here, seems to be covered in a little bit of copper foil. Remove that copper foil. Okay, stick that in your copper pile, it is still pure copper. Okay, it's foil, but it's still copper foil. And then the actual chips themselves seem to be covered by a little aluminium plate, or maybe a little steel plate, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but we need to get that off in order to see what the chips are like underneath. So we'll take off this plastic covering so we can get more access to the little metal plate underneath. Probably a better way to do that is just with a set of snips actually. Do it from the right angle. Okay, so that's that piece. There we go, that's that one off. And that really is just housing the little fan. So that was the housing. And that's a little fan. Okay. So now we've got access to the metal plates for the three chips that were being covered by the aluminium cooler. So to get these off, usually I just put my steps in the corner and wedge it like that. Comes off nice and easy. Reveals a little chip underneath. We're not going to take the chips off uh, at the moment. Uh, this is a specific way to do that. And we will uh, do that all when we are actually clearing the board itself. So we'll not do that just now. Okay, so there's the chip from that first one. Okay, it's stuck to the board. It's not one of these pinned chips that you might get out of a PC, which obviously would be better value. So I'll have a look at the second one. And that is really just a tiny little chip, so nothing big there at all, unfortunately. Well, I do, I do see is some gold pins so if you see here there is some of those gold pins yeah not the biggest but they are gold plated pins and we can add them to our gold pile so a little bit of gold and obviously your IC chips contain gold as well which is why we go after them okay for this one I'm not expecting there to be a big chip underneath here either I'm not actually sure why that's got such a big kind of heat sink on it but we'll take apart this as well and try and get to the chip underneath to see if it's a high value chip or a flat pack or whatever it may be and actually now I've revealed it, you can see just a tiny little one. So, not a lot of big ones in terms of IC chips at all. Uh, and actually, quite a disappointing board when I look at it. Uh, on the back of it, not got a lot either. Uh, some. Uh, one of the capacitors here. Apart from that, there's literally nothing on the back. So there we go, Sky Q box, one transformer, one uh, little copper reel here, as you can see. Uh, 
couple of little copper stacks as I mentioned before and your copper reel that's sitting here and that's really it other than your main IC chips your four little flat packs here a couple of little IC chips here uh, there's not a lot not a lot there at all we've got one little more metal piece here to take off see what's underneath that again imagine it's probably another little chip Okay. Apologies for that reflection. So this is the one we just took off. That's a little chip that's in it there. And you've got this little piece as well that actually this little uh, rectangle piece that has gold plating around the edge of it. I'm not actually sure what that component's called. Don't think it's a crystal oscillator. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of value there. Okay, so in terms of stripping out the board, I say this one could be stripped pretty quickly. You've only got a couple of decent chips in there, uh, some uh, copper components, and then your gold pins from, as I say before, your connectors here. Yeah, and your little gold pins which I showed earlier. Uh, only a few of them, not a lot. So, definitely what I would say is if you're scrap scrapping the uh, sky boxes it's certainly the older sky hd boxes are much better than the sky q boxes you certainly get a lot more in terms of the gold pin recovery uh, obviously in the newer boxes you are getting a bigger and better hard drive you're getting the one terabyte hard drive rather than the 500 gigabyte uh, or even smaller if it's an older box uh, so it's way up to what's more important yeah, to me I'd rather have the, the nice gold pins than uh, a larger hard drive but uh, again each to their own yeah so it depends what you collect it depends what you scrap uh, as I say I will do a video uh, of me scrapping the hard drives at some point as well just to show you kind of what's inside them uh, hard drives like this is the kind of ones you do like I say get in the sky boxes these are the ones you commonly get in PCs uh, this type of hard drive you get a lot of smaller ones when it comes to uh, laptops so these are the kind of hard drives you'll get out of a laptop a very small smaller version but again you know it's the thing itself is made of uh, aluminium there is a little platter inside, a little disc platter that is coated with platinum. Uh, they can be made of glass or aluminium. It has that very, very thin coating of platinum. Uh, but here, as you can see, there's gold pins and stuff on these things as well. So uh, you can see that on the end here. There's some gold pins there as well. And the gold plated pins here. Sometimes as well, these are plated on both sides. Some of them sometimes are just plated on one side. So it depends how high quality, I suppose, the board is. Uh, inside this little area as well, there's a little motor that drives that. You can see there's a little bit of brass inside the middle of that one as well. So once we crack this one open, recover the stuff that's inside, we'll recover that little bit of brass as well from the motor. Uh, some of the motors can be harder to take apart than others. Uh, so really it's just a case of getting inside this and seeing what it's all about uh, yeah so that's it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed that video uh, like I say a little tear down of the Sky Q box not too much value in there a uh, couple of nice uh, nice little heat sinks though little aluminium heat sinks uh, I do like my little aluminium heat sinks you end up uh, collecting lots of these and all come in all different shapes and sizes and designs and uh, some of them look quite cool so the three that I've got in here as you can see they're all different somewhat so they are pretty cool but that's it that's the tear down for today thanks very much for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next scrapping video.